Hello, welcome to this week's Wild Spirits News. I'm Sibylla and today I'll ask you, are your passions a band-aid? Um, passions are the single most powerful shortcut to happiness that I know of. They never fail to lift my spirits. When I feel a little bit off and something's not quite right, pursuing one of my passions never fails to, to lift me up and give me a buzz. And that's fantastic, but in this very happiness that passions provide, is, there lies also a danger. And that danger is that it can be really tempting to use a passion to not deal, to avoid dealing with something that is not quite right in a different area in our lives. So your mission today is to learn how to recognize the pitfall of using passions as a, as a band-aid and how to avoid this pitfall for yourself. Task number one is called, are your passions a band-aid? So like I said, passions can make you feel happy and more balanced. They can provide almost unlimited energy when you're very tired or feel a little run down, which is all fantastic unless, like I said, you're using this like a, like a drug, like a painkiller to numb the pain of say a job that you're not happy with or a relationship issue that you're reluctant to look at and by doing so it can cause you to continue in a situation that should actually be looked at and that should be changed so what i would suggest is to take a good look at your life just be really honest with yourself nobody can do this for you you have to do it yourself maybe take the life audit i'll provide a link in the in the uh, description below the life audit takes about 10 minutes it's a video it guides you through evaluating in detail every single area of your life. And there you can see areas where you might have to work on, which you should, and you should also pursue your passion, of course, and have that happiness. It's not like you're not allowed to be happy unless everything else is fine. This is not what this is about. This is about, don't forget to also deal with things that, that are not going right, because you deserve to be happy in all areas of your life and to have passion as an icing on the cake, rather than the one thing that holds everything still together. And task number two is make your passions an asset, not a drug, like I just said. Prioritizing a passion requires you to assess all your priorities, not just a passion. There's a reason why my programs, my coaching programs, don't just deal with passion. Although that is their subject, that's what they're about, but they encompass all aspects of your life or the life of uh, the client I'm working with. Because it's not enough to just add on a new priority to all the many priorities you already have. You just end up burning yourself out. In order to prioritize a passion, something else needs to make room. Something else needs to make space. And to do this, to assess your priorities, I'd invite you to take a, take a bit of time. Maybe do this after the video or pause the video because it'll, that'll take a few minutes. To just, um, you know, get comfortable, take a bit of time where you'll be undisturbed for five or ten minutes. Take something to write and write down very honestly, nobody else needs to see this, write down very honestly what your priorities are in life. What are the things that really matter to you? What is really important in your life? The people, the things, the activities, whatever. The feelings even. So write everything down and then compare this list that you've written with your calendar, with your schedule, with what you're doing every day, how you spend your time. And you will see some alignment and you will also see some discrepancies. Now, don't say, oh, my job will never be on this list, because if on your list is a need to, for security and a need for money, which we all have because we live in the real world, unless you live off the grid somewhere, then your job actually matches what is important to you, your priority in that, in that sense. So look where, are, where there are disparities, where there are things that don't really match what's truly important to you and maybe think of eliminating that or at least cutting down the time and the energy that you spend on that particular thing or person. And in these free spaces that you're creating, in these free spaces, that, those are the spaces where you can pursue your passion. And that is where you can expand your passion if you're already pursuing it and make it more important, give it more of a priority, a higher priority in your life, which is, of course, the, the aim of all of this. And then your passion is not just a survival strategy for an otherwise awful life, but your passion becomes the icing on the cake. And that which makes you even happier, although you're already happy, because I'm saying it again, you deserve to be happy in every area of your life. You deserve everything to be going at least well, if not brilliant. 
And again, if you need any help with that, talk to me because this is what I do, this is my work. But you can get very far by doing the life audit and doing this assessment that I just suggested by yourself and see how much your day, your daily, your daily activities match what is actually important to you personally. And take it from there and, and make, make adjustments accordingly. Brings me to task number three, which is as usual, let me know. Hit the reply button on the email that you got the link to the video with and tell me what you took away from this video. Um, are your passions already a priority? Are you someone who just wants to spend more time with them? Do you have maybe, or hopefully, a clearer idea now on how to go about this? If you have any questions, just hit the reply button. I'll answer every email, I promise. If you didn't get the link to the video in an email, that means you're not part of the Wild Spirits community yet and you should definitely join us. Go to wildspiritscoaching.com and sign up. You'll get one email per week, so it's 100% spam free. You'll get lots of additional information and articles, recommendations of books and other resources. And sometimes you get exclusive offers that are only for my subscribers that nobody else ever gets to see. So go to wildspiritscoaching.com and sign up. Or you can Google Wild Spirits Coaching. That'll get you to the website as well. Thank you for watching.